Mr. Bean's holiday because he works so hard. He, doing what? Being a dumbass. He works <laughs> hard for his money, so hard for it, honey. Man, Mr. Bean is retarded on a, a level that I'm not even, I don't even know where to classify it. Mr. Bean is retarded and on drugs. It's like a retarded drug addict. You watch this man for an hour and a half, because I don't know if anybody's ever seen Mr. Bean. If you haven't, uh, Rowan Atkinson is a British comedian. You probably heard his uh, voice in The Lion King as that right. toucan. Right, the, 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 the bird. Toucan. Or you know of him through his many genius efforts, like the Black Adders or Man. doing lots of bit parts in British no. films. No, no you don't right. nobody know that shit but a bunch of nerds? Come on. <laughs> yeah, you know what? And who's watching us right now? A bunch of nerds, okay? Yeah, you said it, I didn't. And yeah. we love our nerd audience, uh, dude. Look, nice I, comeback. Believe me, me of all people love <laughs> our nerd audience. Hey, like, I, I respect y'all too much to think that y'all watch Black Adder. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't, you know, when I heard Black Adder, I thought it was actually about a black man, you know, it's kind of a British man who's acting like he's on crack. But um, no, now, Rowan Atkinson, he this character Bean that he has, it's a guy who uh, has these little short comedy sketches. And through the whole thing, he he barely mumbles a word. He does all this physical humor and, and you might get one word out of him, but it usually comes after. He's like the British silent pop. Yeah, he, he, well, he's almost like a silent film star. It's 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 sort of Charlie Chaplinish, sort of Harold Lloyd, where you know it's all like slapstick comedy, sort stuff. of crackheadish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like you said, all he does is is mumble and <laughs> like, like he might say a few. Like in this movie, in in this movie, the only words he says are is back, 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 back. Yeah. Now I gotta ask you guys what? What is this deep existential film about? Well, I mean, the title says it all. Okay, he. Is he, it really about Mr. Bean going on a holiday and wandering around getting turkey stuck on his head? He he okay, he wins a ticket at a raffle contest. That was the first movie where that, he got a turkey stuck on his head. Oh, oh Jesus no. Christ. Okay, I don't, yeah, I don't know what it was talking about, yeah, but this the, the first movie 10 years ago. Mr. Bean? Yeah, yeah Mr. Mr. Bean. <clears throat> okay, well this one this uh and in that movie I heard a lot of you talk about some nerds. They, apparently, there's some hardcore Mr. Bean fans out there because there were people like I ain't never really heard of Mr. Bean at that time. I was like, who the fuck oh, is I Mr. Had. Bean? I, I'd seen some Mr. Bean shorts. Oh, okay. Watch him in shorts. They're funny. OK, well, I hadn't really heard of Mr. Bean. And I heard all these people talking about that movie's blasphemy. And I'm like, what, what are you talking about? What's wrong with him? Except him acting like a damn fool. And they're like, oh, Mr. Bean talks in this. He talks and he makes sense. And I'm like, well, Dan, that's not like a good movie to me. OK, now, now, wait a minute. Let, let me flip this on you. Do you remember when the Pink Panther talked? And how you felt about that? Okay, you're right. Shut up, man. <laughs> Don't you. Do, I was. But that's the Pink Panther. Not some British dude. Man, you're right about that. It was a Pink Panther cartoon that came on Saturday morning. The Pink Panther come, coming out talking like Sugar Bear. Hey, y'all, how you doing? I'm like, fuck this, man. <laughs> no, it wasn't even Sugar Bear. It was Max Headroom. He had Max Headroom's voice. Oh, that's true, man. Yeah, the, the guy who did Matt Frewer. Yeah, yeah Matt he did, Frewer. Yeah, he yeah. did the Pink Panther. And I was mad as hell. So I, okay, so you got me on that. I yeah, understand yeah, people I, being I, mad. I, I, All I, right. Live there's action some, underdog. There's some nerds out there. <laughs> Pink Panther, boy. I mean, yeah. Apparently we're offended by the Pink Panther. Well, I'm glad we're not like those nerds out there. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> watching Black Adder. Let me go back home and watch my Pink Panther and underdog. Well, the Pink Panther was cool. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He had a walk and everything. Yeah, people, uh, Mr. Bean went around tearing up shit. Pink Panther was just minding his own business, walking around cool walking and shit. You know, come on. But, you know, man, you got to admit, I mean, like, you know, Mr. Bean can be funny in shorts. At the same time, it's slapstick shit and it's stupid. And it, 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 I know this is like a high grossing movie, like in Britain, they love this, but it pisses me off because the Brits, they love to like now, they like to retroactively talk shit about Benny Hill. Oh, Benny Hill was never funny. We always hated that. Like, y'all are goddamn lying. What? You brought Benny Hill over here, and we love Benny Hill, so fuck all y'all. Well, there could be that possibility that I've noticed this, and I've noticed this in the online community, that there is a huge difference between what British audiences really like and what American audiences like. Like, do you realize the reason why there was a sequel to Garfield was because it was a huge hit over there? They loved it. I know. It. Well, that's I the know. difference. They uh, thought it was genius. Well, Americans like funny stuff. That's the big difference. Right? <laughs> and, and so, yes, yeah, so we like funny stuff, and so we thought Benny Hill was, was Amazing, and they could have been, you know. Yeah, wait, a minute, hold on. My bro, my bro, my boss is British. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just playing, man. You know, this it could just be one of those aspects where, you know, over there, Benny Hill was like their, you know, Jerry, Jerry Lewis. The, well, no, they're, they're Jerry Lewis, or like their, you know, their their American Pie movies, where you know, it's like there's a small segment of the audience that finds it funny, but you know, over there, it's like, oh, well, anyway, but, 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 but yeah, they, well, they treat Benny Hill like he was carrot top. But now, but, but Mr. Bean, they go like, no, no, this is the stuff. It, it, it's an intellectual component to, to, to uh, Mr. Bean. I'm like, really? The fact that he walks around with a camera 
and 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 makes people kick, he kicks over coffee. Yeah, the, this is intellectual humor. The, huh? the, the, okay, let, let me tell you what the movie's about because Mr. Bean is at a he's at a raffle giveaway. He wins a ticket to France. He goes to uh, Cannes, as a matter of fact. Is it Cannes? 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 Yeah. Okay, whatever. Man, the rat the con. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know no. <laughs> but uh, so he goes to Cannes, and when he gets there, he hooks up. Uh, he, he's Let's just say, like, it's Hurricane Bean when he gets over there. He just starts tearing up shit. Now, they try to put a little plot in there by uh, having him hook up with this little... Oh, man, that's the wrong word, hook up with this little boy. But they, he, he, um, Maybe he, it's not the wrong word. Yeah. Maybe this is the American cut. Well, he, yeah. the European he, cut is much racier. He, he almost accidentally kidnaps the little boy in a way. He separates the, the boy from his father. And yeah, and the father leaves on a train while this little boy is distracted. Right. No, the dad is distracted yeah, yeah. by Mr. Bean. The, distracts the dad who misses the train that has a little boy on it. And so now Bean's traveling with the little boy trying to help him get back with his father. And then you discover later that the father is actually a judge at the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah. And then and, 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 a girl they meet up with who's got a father. This is getting too goddamn this, Yeah, no, 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 you've yeah, already we, lost me. Guys. Yeah, he's, he's actually, I mean, uh, apparently from what I read... Somehow, Bean ends up with his home movies in sh with a showing at Con. That's pretty they, much they, what it yeah, is. You got it. It yeah. really is him just having accidental adventures, kicking shit over, running into people, talking with that crazy voice, and then yeah, he ends up. Everyone does, loves does him. Does he at win the, end. the Palm d'Or? No, he doesn't. No, that's oh. it's just shy of that. But now they <laughs> now they have uh, I, I, now this is this a British movie or is this an American movie? Because the reason why I ask. Willem Dafoe has a pretty large part in the film. Yeah. Willem Dafoe, if I remember correctly, isn't he part of one of those uh, theaters over there he in is. England? He is. That's and, why he disappeared from over here for a while. Yeah. That I, I'm pretty sure he's just good friends with everyone over there. As far as I know, this is a British film, and this is one of those that's already opened over there and was a huge mega hit. Okay. Now, I will say this. For me, I, I don't want to speak for British people because, mainly I don't want to lose my job. But I don't – I can't say the movie's bad. I can't say that it's good either. The most that I can say that it is rated G. So if you were to rent this for your kids, your kids might possibly enjoy watching this man walk around acting a damn fool. Um, yes, I. And as much as I agree with all that, I'm, I've still got to call it some old bullshit. Really? Yes. You're going to go that far? I am wow. going to go that far. Have a heart, man. That's Come on. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll remember have a heart next time you call some old <laughs> bullshit on something that we like. But this like, is different. Have a heart, Corey. This is a good movie. No, nah, it's some old bullshit. No, this I is, hate this fucking This is thing. different, man, because this is Mr. Bean. <laughs> you know what? The, the only thing that might make me not give it that rating is just at times it was just so bizarre. It was just like, okay, um... I'm too confused to, to think it's bad. You do realize you're giving it a pass right now. That you, You've gone into the realm of, you know what, I'm just going to give this a pass because, you know what, it really was some old bullshit. But people love this, so I have to give it a pass. No, it, it, it does get monotonous. This whole act that he has of watching him, it worked great in shorts. Watching him, like do all this physical comedy there's not enough variation in it to last as long as a movie does i mean he he mumbles and he tears up stuff so it's some old bullshit no but the thing is mr bean for me somewhere he's his heart is in the right place it's, it's funny you say that because i've seen movies like this yeah with like other with cuba Gooding like, jr <laughs> well okay like like to me the ultimate movie in this vein is peewee's big adventure and you just love peewee peewee is charming and he's funny and Bean wasn't really either one of those things. And even like, like the gags he gets into, at best, they're mediocre. It's almost like you laugh because, well, I was bored up until now, and now he's doing something mildly entertaining. Well, Bean is not that charming, first of all, because his face looks like an anus. I mean, man, I, man I'm, Rowan Atkinson, I know to be a talented guy, but he is one ugly motherfucker. Rowan, man, we, look, you don't know us. If I ever meet you, I think you're a talented man. God bless you. You got more money than I do anyway, so fuck you. But you look like a fucking hedgehog in the face. I don't know what the fuck is going on with you. What, what is Wait, up you, with you? described as both a hedgehog and an anus. Do I want to know what your anus looks like, Corey? I didn't say my anus. <laughs> I don't, I, and I'm not what kind of anuses have you been looking at, Corey, that look like both a hedgehog and an anus? Hedgehog, hedgehog like, anus. Like, like when he was a baby, his dad used to squeeze his neck like one of those obies and made his nose and his eyes just bug out. <laughs> That's what it is, man. He got—he looks like a chihuahua, man. 
He looks like an old British Chihuahua. He's got I mean, shakes. Yeah, he's got he the. Sh- the he does. He got. He has the sh- that little nervous shake. His eyes are bugging out. I mean, you know, he could be. The, he looks like the Taco Bell dog. So, so this is some old bullshit, then. No, it is still not though. I still like that man. You're not gonna make me say it. I, I didn't say it was great. You, why you trying to make me look? I'm bad. You say it was great. I didn't say it was good. Man, why you, I didn't say it was even okay. But I will not say it's some old bullshit. You're not going to make me feel bad for liking Mr. Bean. I just, to hell with this riddle, man. God no, damn no, it. no, no, well, no. I know no, what no, I'm no. getting you for your birthday now. Because, see, the thing is, is, it's okay to like Mr. Bean and not like his movie. It's okay. It's okay to call it some old bullshit when you actually like the people involved. That's fine. Man. It's cool. Well, I'm cutting this off, man. <laughs>